All right, guys, we are going 100% gourmet chef right here tonight. I've prepared Andy a meal that's probably very close to his heart because it calls for chips. chips. Is the main, main ingredient. Andy likes the chips. So what we got going on here is some, uh, so we call these uh, tailgate nachos. We do them all the time, right, Andrew? Yeah, yeah. So we got chips, Andrew. Is into chips. Chips are good. Guys, we got we melted cheese on the Camp Chef Striker inside the uh, glass container it comes in with just a little bit of water. It's a uh, tip tech. Tech tip. Yeah, that, I was blown away by that trick. Tech it's like, tip. what do you want water in here for? And then puts a whole bottle in it, and I'm like, Whoa. Oh, I think, I think you're going out of order here, though. I just saw you open the uh, pan to the hamburger. Yeah. You've got to go cheese first. No, 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 no. You cover the chips with the cheese. All right. People. Okay. If you're making nachos, do you put the cheese on the chips first, or do you put no, the okay. hamburger on the chips? So Tell I'm, me. I'm thinking traditional nachos, and when you have cheese like this, right, this is what's really throwing me off is the melted cheese, because you generally throw the meat down first. You have first. to, Andy, we say this all the time, forget everything you knew. We're going to relearn a nacho. I think we got the uh, nacho cheese to the right consistency, definitely. Oh yeah. Am I putting enough on? I mean, I mean that's your call. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know. Okay, where do I tell go? Tell you here? either way. Where do I go from here? From there, I'd definitely go to the hamburger. Okay. Can the you open burger. that for me? I'm gonna. Okay. Here's a spatula. Elk, elk burger from Oregon. Oregon elk burger on the nacho. Mm. Dang. So those are like the only two like nest like yeah heated agree have ingredients. to have to have yeah. Them. And from there you can just freestyle it. And then you freestyle it after that. It's like an Eminem song, you know. The foundation, right? Great foundation. Um, just grabbing a utensil. Gonna go for okay. the uh, some of that. No oh, sour cream. Good call. I'd want a different route, but you know, it's your portrait, paint it. Okay, sour cream. Then I'm gonna go. Oh, pico de gallo. Oh, pico, fresh pico. In the bag. Solid. Do you have jalapenos in here? No, just uh, tomatoes, cilantro, a little bit of lime. Three key main ingredients there. If we, I told Andy, if I would have like thought of this beforehand, this is like last minute idea here. So we just had their ingredients, but if I was preparing like before this trip to come out here and make nachos, gotta go with some jalapenos on there. Mm -hmm. but no go. So we got some guac, pre made guac. guac. I'm gonna get past the brown. Yeah, I mean, and once you open the guac, the it goes the top layer is brown, no matter where. What yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't bug me. Just going past it. Dude. Dude, secret key ingredient here, which Andrew actually provided for this trip. Uh, homemade salsa. Homemade salsa. Try to give us some heat. But I learned an important lesson with this salsa. Oh yeah, tell us your tip. You can tip, only make tech tip. Tech tip. You can only make salsa as hot as the hottest pepper you have to put in it. It doesn't matter how many you add. You could put a hundred jalapenos in the salsa, and it would only be as hot as a jalapeno. But I bet it'd make your uh, morning a little different if you added a hundred. Probably. There's about a hundred in this one. Maybe. <laughs> right? I mean, how was your morning? You had the salsa last night. Yeah. Come to hundred think of jalapeno it. salsa. Come to think of it, you put a hundred jalapenos <laughs> in there. I called every single one of them. Here's like my little garnish. Oh, your little extra little garnish. <laughs> Just garnish it with some uh, wide grid mild cheddar. Boom. Bam. I think I'm done. That's pretty dope, dude. Really Give us good. a bite. Tell us how it turned out. All right. Guys, this is a spontaneous hush and cooking video. I want to do a series I was telling Andy. Hold on, let's get this. Crunchy, cheesy, elky. Dope. 100, 100. 100. I want to do a series on how, it, uh, like, the nicest or, like, the most um, delicious meal you could prepare on only using the uh, Camp Chef Strikers. You could use two of them. I was thinking like you could do some like elk steaks, mushrooms, 
and then some like you could only Andy was saying I could use dehydrated food. I said no, you can't. You have to use real food. Yeah. I'm gonna do that series. We should do that series. Yeah, I mean this. I'll prepare it for it next time we come out here. We just made this on two strikers, and I mean eh. Mm. Mm.